What's up guys, I want to give you an update on a finished helmet build of mine. As you guys know, this is the FMA Maritime that, have you, that you have seen in previous videos of mine. I did get rid of my airframe, so you guys won't be seeing that anymore. Um, I pretty much set this Maritime up for uh, various kits that I'll be running, uh, such as the with the first Spear Ranger green cover that you guys have seen in previous videos. I'll be running that with my Woodland uh, kit at Broken Home 3 later this year, so you guys will see that out there. Um, this is the multicam setup I'll be running for uh, Bright Rain 8 uh, this weekend in, down in Arkansas. So if any of you guys are going to that, you guys will see me out there. And you, This is the helmet I'll be wearing, so you'll be able to find me. I'm going to go over the various parts I have on there, starting at the front. The front, I have the Opscore VAS shroud, and mounted to that is a FMA L4 G24. Uh, moving to the sides, these are the Opscore Maritime rails, and on those rails are the Peltor Comtac 3s, the Peltor uh, adapters. Um, on the other side, I have the Princeton Tech switch. I've got an IR flag up front. Moving to the back, I have the FMA Hellstar 5. You guys have seen this. It's pretty neat. I, th I like it. Uh, moving to the inside, I do have a real Opscore fit band as well as real Opscore pads in there. Very comfortable setup. And finally, the helmet cover is the Opscore uh, mesh helmet cover. It's in multicam. It was kind of a pain uh, to mount the VAS shroud as you have to actually punch holes through this. And as you can see, mine wasn't really lined up correctly. Uh, it's it's all sorts of crooked, so. I got it mounted, it just doesn't look very pretty, but uh, there it is. Um, I was going for a uh, Ranger-ish look, as this is kind of how uh, Rangers are setting up their helmets uh, in modern times. So pretty much right now, uh, a lot of them are getting Maritimes and they're running these helmet covers. So I was going to do kind of a Ranger-ish kit with the VFC Mark 17 that you guys have, are seeing there, but um, the Mark 17 is actually quite quite a big rifle and I'm not sure if it actually fits me very well so I may not keep it but there it is for now you can ogle at it all you want uh, but yep there is my finished maritime uh, thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe